orphans, when they lose their parents, one of the biggest challenges that they face is emotional challenge. And remember, these children have been living with the parents. When they lose the parents, that's one of the key things. The second thing that they will um, get a lot of challenging is food. So the, the first thing that they face, they don't have food to eat. This child also needs, most of them don't have even water. They, they walk for miles. Um, they may, I mean, in Africa, most of, our, most of the families will go to the river to fetch water. Some rivers are far. Uh, to the households. They go into the forest and they uh, bring in water. They can only carry very little, looking at their age. They can only afford, they can be able to carry now, but not much. Some of them may carry like two gallons or uh, one gallon of water. And that is for, for, for home use. So water is a huge, huge problem for them. Some of them, they don't have any fuel, they don't have electricity, they don't have, they have to go to the, to the forest to get fresh firewood for cooking. And these are small children. So some of them would drop out. Uh, they don't even need to go to school because they have to walk to the forest to fetch water. After getting water, they need to go and fetch firewood for cooking. And then that makes them, that is a, is a huge challenge for them. Is the most vulnerable families are the ones that died because they cannot afford to go to the hospital. So you find the parents who are poor, the poorest in the community. These are the one, those these are the ones who first to die. If like this this ish, the COVID that is striking the community, these are the most people affected. They cannot afford to buy soap. They cannot afford to buy um, uh, uh, water, to establish water stations. Secondly, they don't have. They cannot afford to buy masks. They live in very small rooms. So the infection rate is very high. So these are the people who die. And the children that are left behind, they are still coming from very poor families. So they are the ones that cannot afford all the necessary materials, all the necessary household needs. And they are the ones that always face so much. So the, the children that we are working with, they're coming from that background of the poor families. I mean, coming from, they were from poor parents who died. So they have a lot of problems that they face every day.